it is really coming down this evening. Hello, everybody. I just got back from taking my mom to some doctor's appointments down North Carolina today. We left uh, about 8 o'clock and just have gotten back and it just, the bottom just dropped out. That's actually a little less of the downpour than it was before I started filming. But it is certainly coming down. So I'm taking the opportunity to water my plants. Going out yonder. So that way I don't have to. It has been a long day. Also, I'm just update you guys and let you know. Um, we got a call uh, yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. This is Wednesday. Yeah. Um, for Garrett to go be admitted up at uh, UBA Hospital, that's the University of Virginia um, Health um, Center, Medical Center, uh, up in. Charlottesville, I think it is. It's about four hours or so away. Um, but we finally got the call for that. So he will go next Thursday. We're supposed to be there at like 1.30. Uh, that's our like actual appointment time. But then the lady called me today just to finish setting things up and said probably we need to be there by 11. So I'm not really sure when we need to be there. I hope this doesn't end up being like when we had to go to Roanoke and freeze teeth and be there at the crack of dawn and be four hours before the procedure. I don't know. I hope not. But so we got to do that. I don't know if we'll go up the day before and stay overnight or what we'll do. If we have to be there even earlier than the afternoon time, then we probably will go before. Um, but yeah, the, so that's happening now. So that uh, will be for him to be actually admitted. Uh, he'll be considered observation status. And he'll have to come off his seizure meds. And the goal is that he actually has seizures and they can see where they're coming from. He'll have a video monitoring him and he'll have the EEG set up on him. So hopefully that works out good. Um, and we have seizures, a couple. I'd like to have him have at least four. So hopefully we have that happen within the first day or two. And we can maybe get out of there. They told us it would be anywhere from five to seven days, probably that we'd be expecting to stay. Well, they said stay, plan to stay for seven days, but average was about five to seven. And then the lady who called to set it up said most of the time the patients stay anywhere from three to five. So who knows how long we'll actually be up there or what's gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna try to, you know, catch some video of that. You know, while we're up there a little bit, share that with you guys in case there's anybody that may be going to go through that or just as curious how that works. Because I'm actually really curious how this is all going to come out. Um, be able to do that, but it is really coming down. So, but I just want to take a minute and let you guys know that's where we are in all this, and hopefully, uh, this gives us some information and insight into what is really where those are really coming from so we can maybe try to, to do something whether it ends up being surgery or whatever to try to halt these seizures so we so had four on this uh one morning monday actually it was monday morning so it's just uh it's been a week to say the least um but knowing that we go next week is encouraging so i'm not looking forward to the whole experience or even the ride up there um, but hopefully it'll go well um, but I think that's it for today. Thanks, you guys. Hope you have a good evening. Click subscribe, hit the like, comment if you can, and go watch the rain. All right, see you next time.